this is just a short video of how I attach spam to um, a braided hook link. Enjoy. So I'll take your tin of spam um, and this is this is what you do to measure your hair for your rig. I lay it on the table lengthways um, and I do my hair rig just a little bit longer than the um, tin of spam and then tie it knotless, knotless knot style. I'm not going to show how to do this on the video because I think everybody knows how to do it. Just, just use a knotless knot. Um, open your tin of spam. Don't have to do it all the way, halfway will do. Then, what I use is um, an ASP, I think it's the 32mm, um, an empty PVA mesh reef, no, the PVA mesh um, dispensers. So, what I do is I take the, the tube that the PVA mesh comes on, obviously, it's empty, push that in the full length of the tin. Give it a twist. Now sometimes there's a bit of suction, so you have to you'll try and pull it out and it'll start sliding out of the tube. Just push it back in again slowly, keep twisting, and eventually it will come out as so. Right, get your plunger, just push that out as you do when you're doing a PVA mesh bag so now you've got a nice neat, nice, neat finish and then obviously that's going to be the right length for your hair rig as you've just previously made up and take a plastic straw you want to get some quick before they all turn to paper ones plastic straw cut that to the exact same length and push it through the spam and it should just about pop through um, this is to stop the braid cutting through the spam because if you don't do that soon as you, soon as you start reeling or fish picking up it'll probably pull through the spam so um, basically that's just to stop it so then you take um, a baiting needle like a dead bait needle what you use for piking push that through a few times you don't have to do this bit you can just thread it through but I do just push a bit of the meat out and so just give it a wiggle a few times Then insert your baiting needle ready to attach your hair with your knotless knot. So get that. Sometimes a bit fiddly. Um, hook that on as so. Slide down the spam, pulling your knotless knot through. I push it all the way up to the hook just to make it easier to attach the um, boily stop and that. So then I take on the um, I think that it's the fox, fox, um, what are they called? Poppers, the fox poppers. I cut one of them in half, then push a baiting needle through it, putting the flat bit against the spam, which is basically a boilie stop. Um, so just attach, attach the braid, push it, pull it through, pull a little loop out at the end, ready for a boilie stop. And then basically, just insert the boily stops through the hair. I'm not going to trim this down because I'm not fishing, I'm in my back garden. So pull that through and basically you've got your bit of separation in your hook. And that, if you use the big tin, the larger tin of spam and half a fox popper, that will be critically balanced. It will sink very slowly. And that you can cast that out so you can free line that if you want there's enough there's a bit of casting weight if you're not fishing far out and it will sit on the bottom like that just sitting up right off the bottom perfect as you say you can free line it put it on the running rig wherever you want and it's just a neat a nice neat presentation for spam that won't come off now if it was cat fishing, because that's obviously too big for cat fishing, that's for decent sized cats. You can always cut that in half and um, use it for smaller cats. But if it was cat fishing, I'd do exactly the same thing. Use a rig, but I would use, because uh, I've got one basically. It's the 
Fox to smaller armor mesh. So I'm not going to do it, it's exactly the same thing, but if you're using an armor mesh tube, and then I think it's about 12 mil, and then you can just cut it down into whatever size chunks you want, and then thread them on the hair, exactly the same as a normal boiler rig, and use them. Use that for carp. Hope you enjoyed that, just a little little video, a little tip, a little two minute tip. Um, I'll be doing a few more of these over the, over the year, so um, please subscribe.